Welcome, my name's Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb, and I'm here with Dr. Stephen Whitehead, who's the coordinator of the Kiel University PGCE International course. Stephen, welcome. Hi, thanks Chris. Thank now, you. Now you're going to talk through a few PowerPoint slides with us here now yep. to give people who are considering signing up for the course uh, a better idea of, of uh, the benefits. Sure. So would you maybe maybe tell us a bit about where, where did this particular course come from? Well, Kiel have been running the PGC in the UK, secondary and primary, for many years, uh, and it's been a very successful program. Now, I came out to Asia a few years back, set up the MBA Education International Program with Kiel as Kiel's Asia Program Coordinator. And it was clear when we came out here, uh, and Kiel got in, more involved in the, the, the Thailand Asia market, we realized that the expansion of the international schools uh, meant there were a whole lot of people out here who weren't qualified with PGCEs, hadn't got teacher qualification. Um, and we thought, okay, well, let's offer the PGC equivalent out in Asia, which is this PGC uh, international. And uh, that's that's really it, and it's uh, an exciting new program to be involved in. So you you identify you identified there was a need here, and then sort yeah. of uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, exported it out from the UK to Asia. Basically, yeah, and I think the, you know the number of, in, of international schools is is grown enormously in just the last decade. The, I mean, international schools, as you know, have been around a long time, but in the last decade, they've grown phenomenally in number, and the plan to grow even more so over the next decade. So there's a lot of people out here who want to get into teaching in them. Uh, some They have degrees, they speak English, uh, but uh, they don't have a PGCE and they don't want to go back to the UK to get one. Um, they can get one very effectively, relatively inexpensively, uh, out here now in Asia uh, with the Kiel, Kiel version which is just coming on stream. Yeah, and you're based in Asia as well. So that makes yeah, it, I'm based in Thailand and uh, it's that makes it a lot easier there's myself teaching on it but also uh designated pgc tutors will be coming out from keel in the uk yes and i will say at this point is a it's a it's a keel university program so the whole every aspect of this pgc i is taught managed assessed credited and verified by keel okay uh, actually before we talk about the the venue and the mm. structure and everything mm. You, you just touched on who it might be, or who, not might be, who it's who it's focused at. Yeah. Can, can we talk about that for a, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, sure. Let me, let me move on a, a couple of slides here. We're going to go out of order here, um, <coughs> because I, I think what, what what you just said was that it was aimed at people in international schools, mm. but it's actually more than that, isn't it? It's aimed at people who might want to work in international schools yeah. in the future. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think I remember reading in the brochure, also it was more than that, wasn't it? What Didn't you mention in the brochure that it was also, it might be relevant to people who wanted to work in English language teachings? Anybody who wants to be involved in any level of teaching at all, basically, because if you want to work in a bilingual school, and there's about two or three hundred in Thailand alone, um, if you want to work in, 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 a, in a top flight international school, um, or if you want to be just a jobbing teacher working in an English language center around Asia. With this qualification, you'll not only get the, the, a job quicker, like more likely, but you'll also get higher pay, because there weren't one of the ways in which these institutions, uh, the, the, these teaching institutions, evaluate your salary. It's based obviously on your qualifications. Yeah. So you can go to you can you know it's like you can go to uh, uh, an agency, an English language school anywhere in Asia, walk in often without any, even a degree. Uh, but of course, if you've got a degree, it's an English degree from a reputable English uh, or Western university, <coughs> and in an appropriate subject, it has got a link to the teaching subjects you're going to be involved in, and you've got a PGCI, well, of course, you're then into the top flight salary uh, with all the career progression that that offers. And money is a great motivator, but oh, I, I suspect most educators in the world aren't, aren't motivated by it, <laughs> and they're not doing it for the money. We're not well, doing it, it, it might not be yeah. that the people are doing it for the money, but I mean, there's a lot of people moving out towards Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, they see career opportunities out here quite rightly. And education, English language education, whether it be an international school, whether it be an English language school exclusively for English language, 
the opportunities are there and it's a good lifestyle and that's what attracts a lot of people I think. It sounds like this would be a good course if you were a spouse of, uh, and your partner was coming out to work in in Asia and mm. you're wondering what am I going to do out mm. here to settle in or look sure. for something sounds, sure. that sounds a great opportunity yeah for I mean that you've situation. got te- as, as it says on the slide here uh, teachers who don't have a teaching qualification there's quite a few in Asia and already uh, a number of the applicants we've had in for the program are people working in international schools in Asia who are teaching assistants so they've not moved into full teaching positions yes. but the teaching assistants or su- support teachers work, maybe working on a full-time basis in an international school yes now they can get the pgti they then become fully qualified teachers and that then moves them into fully professional positions as as teachers in the international school sector there's also the expats who are living out in asia who have sort of drifted out here maybe like it <clears throat> want to hang around they're too young to retire um, they've got degrees and maybe got work experience so how do they get into the system well they can get into the system without a PGCI but with one with the qualification that Kiel are offering of course the, the more much more likely to get taken yes. on yes. and they don't have to worry about getting it any time in the future because to get this qualification uh, over a fairly quick period uh, at a very advanced level but they're, they're then into the uh, into the uh, international teaching career situation and of course the other the other market it, it for us is those teachers who are local teachers maybe um particularly those from uh countries that, that where english is is readily spoken like malaysia the philippines singapore um but also teachers anywhere who are working in education who want to get an international qualification in in teaching so if you're a thai teacher hmm. then there will be a relevance there for a thai teacher sure sure absolutely and i think um for many Thai teachers, if they've got the English language skills and they would have to have IELTS at level 6.5 or above English language uh, skill at that level, um, then yeah, they can come on the program and we welcome them. Okay, let's talk about a, a bit about the the structure. Before we look at the content, let's talk mm. a bit about the structure mm. and and the venue, because mm. this is a real bonus. Let me Let me go back a couple of slides here. Let's, let's let's look at this. So maybe tell us a bit about the the, the structure, the time commitment, the venue. Okay, let's stay with start with the venue. I mean, it's, it's hosted at Harrow International School, and that means basically we're using Harrow's fantastic facilities uh, for teaching this program. Uh, we've got not just classrooms, but with a designated area uh, that Harrow have uh, in in the inter- in the international school in Bangkok. Bear in mind that Harrow have a number of international schools now. They're opening one in Hong Kong soon. And they've got one in uh, in Beijing, but the the one in Bangkok is the facility we're using. Uh, it is a, and it is very very good. It's very plush. Uh, it's five star facility. is is a, is a teaching ex- ex- environment. That's where we actually do the taught elements of the program. And the taught elements of the program are uh, f- six two day three day weekends over the course of uh, about thirty two weeks. The program lasts thirty two weeks from start to finish. Starts at the end of November 2012, finishes at the end of June 2013. Uh, and in that period, I say there's a number of taught elements which are delivered at Harrow and students attend at Harrow. Though we, we are setting up the facility, though we kill can go to students in other parts of Asia. And, and students would have to inquiries would have to people have to contact me on that. I can say more about that on. But that's uh, not that's, that includes the upfront teaching or just the classroom practice. Yeah, no, that includes the upfront teaching. We will go to, if I mean, I've already had inquiries, for example, from teachers working in China. Now, if we've got a number of applicants from China, we can go to China and 100%. deliver it. Yes, there will, will be an extra cost to the student for that. Uh, alternative, they can for no extra cost to them, they can come to. To Harrow in Bangkok, mm. uh, the choice is uh, something we can negotiate with individual applicants. So, can, re, just to remind me that did you say six two-day weekends up front. Yeah, six t- six two-day, uh, actually three-day. They start on the Friday normally, finish on the Sunday night. Right. Um, but yeah, six in weekend blocks, so it doesn't interfere with teachers who are already working full time in schools. They can come on the program. It's quite accessible for them. Um, some of the teach some of the blocks are. Uh, do coincide with the, the, the international school holidays but basically there isn't much in in the program that's going to interfere with someone being able to continue doing their full-time work the the pgci is notable no uh, notionally a full-time program 
there are teaching blocks on it, uh, three teaching blocks, a total of 18 weeks. <clears throat> and there are um, study periods when the students aren't required to attend at Harrow or, or, or on the teaching practice. Students can, of course, do it, the teaching practice in their own school if they're already established in the school. And if they aren't, then Keel will find them a teaching practice in an international school and will provide the mentor to see them, to oversee them and support them through their teaching practice. All this is built into the cost of the programme, which makes it a very unique programme because the students are not only getting um, quality teaching practice experience, we'll find them a teaching placement if they haven't already got one, uh, and we will do direct taught input. So you've, the students are going to come face to face with a Kiel tutor on at least six weekends. It's about 20 hours contact time, face to face contact time, which is much more than anything is being offered by any other program of its type in Asia. So would I be correct in saying that this could be part of a, a continuing professional development program in a, a school for a, for a teacher or, or actually teachers might already have it, for a teacher assistant, teacher assistants? Well, might. teachers assistants are the ones who uh, we clearly are already applying and we would expect them to be interested in this program. A teaching assistant's got to make a decision at some point in his or her career, do I, when do I go and get a PGCE? Now, I've had con already in the last few weeks that we've been starting marketing this program, I've already had inquiries from, for, for example, the teacher who's uh, teaching in, in an international school in, in Japan. Uh, English teacher. Now that teacher was planning to go back to the UK to do a PGCE. Now it's it's a big cost. It means the teacher's got to give up their work in the school at periods to go back to the UK, pay for the PGCE in the UK, and then transfer it back out here. They basically got, that teacher would have to take a year out of their their work and pay and pay not just for the program but for the living costs back in the UK. Now with the PGCI, the student doesn't have to do that. The, the student can do the program out here relatively easily uh, and come away with an international qualification which is transferable to any international school in the world, not just in Asia. So it can be, it can be thought of as in-service training. You, you don't have to stop your job to do this. You don't have to stop your job to do this. Which is brilliant. It's great. But it sounds like it's going to be a, a lot of hard work. What Can you give prospective students uh, sort of a benchmark this is almost an impossible question to answer benchmark of so how much work is required from a course participant I can't answer that because it, it, it uh, we look we've got a 32 week program that involves as I said 18 weeks of teaching practice so that's I, you can't quantify what the teaching practice is for an individual school but it, you're talking full-time teaching and the teaching practice could be in your host school any, as well it can be you in your host school or, yes. or you can go outside to another school if if you choose to do it yes. that's the choice for the student um then there's the study periods when you're actually doing essays writing essays developing uh, assessment criteria and then there's the att attendance at keel um sorry attendance at harrow International School, yes. uh, where Kiel tutors will take you through the taught elements yes. of the program. Yes. Um, so it, for sure, I mean, it's it's a commitment, and it, it's it's a serious commitment. But it's it, you'd expect it because this is going to give people professional status. At the end of it, people are going to come away with a qualification that's going to be it tight, kite marked by Kiel University, a university that's got a, an excellent name for running PGC programs in the UK and over many decades saying this person is equipped capable and ready to work in an international school as a full-on teacher um, and you know the standard of international schools now around the world particularly here in Asia is very very high uh, the schools are mostly for profit which means that there's uh, expectations on the teachers on the managers of certain uh, uh, quality and effectiveness <coughs> and the standard of A-level attainment I'll say now in the international schools in Asia is now surpassing that of A-level attainment in the UK. Mm. Recent research has confirmed that. So we're saying, Kiel is saying, you know, these teachers are, are able to work in that sort of environment and uh, it, I have to say the teachers I know and I've met many many teachers in international schools in Asia, once they're out here they don't want to go back to the UK, <laughs> they love it out here. Uh, and you, you get different teachers want, who particularly work, prefer different countries. I know teachers who like to live in Vietnam, some like to live in South Korea, some China, some 
Indonesia, some Japan, some Thailand. You've got the choice. With a qualification like this, you can actually go anywhere. Yes. It's instantly transferable. Yes. What I will say, what it doesn't o offer you, and I will say this, it, th this program does not offer QTS qualified teacher status in the UK. If, if, if a teacher wants to work in the UK, in the UK system, and not work in an international school, they should go back to the UK and do the PDC in the UK. The one year. Course. The one year yes. QTS uh, program in, in the in the UK and Kiel offers that Kiel yeah yes. that, that that Kiel offers that and and they get two or three hundred students every year doing the secondary PGC in the UK but those those teachers generally um, those students generally don't want to go and work in the international sector they're based in the UK they're living in the UK and and that's where they see their career but this program is is is, is designed for those working in international schools. Yeah, no. it sounds like it's, it's for convenience. It's for convenience, yeah. and and, stu and teachers who are already established out here, working out here, linked with the school, um, can continue all that. Mm. It won't interfere with the job. It'll be extra work for them while for, for the thirty-two weeks, but that's you know it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a balance. They're yes. going to get. They're going to have to work at that do that extra work for the program, but at the end of it, they've got professional status. Yes. Okay, let's let's move on because we want to try and f do this within twenty minutes, so mm -hmm. it's not uh, not too mm -hmm. long. Um, but uh, lis listeners, of course, know where the speed up button are and the stop button and the rewind button is on the on the recording. Um, let me move to the slide. Can we short talk a bit about the content now? Mm. Sure. Um, let me see where the slide is. This is the right side, I think. Isn't That's it? correct. Yeah. Well, those are the key themes, and these key themes are all taught at master's level. And this is one of the bonuses of this program because students who are successful students who who, who uh, achieve these these modules and themes at fifty percent or over will get credits at MA level, which are then transferable to masters programs in other universities around the world and masters programs at Keele, masters in education and learning. I'm, I'm saying now. Um, so that's one. What's how we, why we've organised it this way because there are recognisable themes there. That, that although they're distinct, together they take in most, if not all, the issues that you're likely, or skills and issues and concerns and learning and knowledge base that you're going to need to work in an international school. Obviously, teaching, learning, assessment, looking also at curriculum, looking at the A level program that's delivered out here, GCSEs, the International Baccalaureate, distinguishing between them, understanding how the assessments are and how schools go about structuring them, timetables, uh, delivery styles. Uh, that then leads on to the educational philosophy and psychology of learning, highly important, looking at the principles and practices of learning, um, some of the aims and objectives. Of, of learning and teaching in the international school setting again, the psychological processes of development of the child over a period of years, um, different age group styles of learning and cultures within the school. Then the teaching and professional issues um, for the teacher, in, and particularly again in the, sitting, in the setting of Asia, because teaching in Asia is, say for example, teaching in an international school in Bangkok or Jakarta, or Beijing is a lot different from teaching in Middlesbrough, Manchester, or London. Um, they, the, the environments are very different, and the multicultural international learning environment and the issues that arise from that are something that we, we will, will be exploring at depth for students on the programme. And the final element is the reflexive practice, and that is uh, a portfolio uh, that students produce over the course of the teaching practice which shows the, the evidence for their, what they've taught, assessment ev evidence, um, feedback maybe from pupils at a higher level, uh, feedback from their mentor, clearly, because each student will have a mentor who will designate a mentor, mentor who will guide them and steer them uh, and observe them in teaching practice. So this is a, a reflexive practice portfolio which is presented as evidence in the last piece of work that the students present, and that then culminates in their final hopeful graduation on the program. Brilliant. And the question that's always asked at the end is, uh, and where do we find more information? And yeah. That's, uh, well, if anybody who's interested in this program can come directly to me on the email at keeleuniversityuk at gmail.com and they can apply online 
at uh, the link shown on the on on the on, on the slide, and that will take them straight straight into online application process at Kiel University. The process is fairly straightforward. Uh, people put in references, they put in a statement, uh, a bit about themselves, obviously. Uh, and one final thing I will say before we close on this is that the fees for the for the program. Uh, are between three thousand and six thousand pound for the thirty two weeks uh, the differential in fees the three thousand four thousand five hundred or six thousand uh, pound depend on whether or not we can uh, alleviate students from some elements of the teaching practice so those students who've got experience in teaching will probably have the opportunity to have reduced fees because they won't do all the teaching practice that's required those students who come on the program with no teaching practice experience whatsoever will pay the full fee of six thousand pound thank you that was that was good you you didn't breathe when you said that last one it was a bit of a, a long sentence <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he, he talks about money and he stops breathing right uh, <laughs> before we just finish let's, let's um uh like, like to bring bring listeners attention to the the we're using social media in uh, as any forward thinking organization does with any program now and uh so you can follow um, the, the initiative on uh, Twitter, and the address is, uh, is up here. I can bring a pointer in and bring this round here. So just log on to Twitter and uh, follow there. We, we, uh, a Facebook will be, uh, uh, account is set up as well. And these are the social media, and it will, it will build up. But just for the, your first sort of bite size into it, um, it's advisable if you're interested in the courses to uh, follow, follow us on Twitter at PGCI Keel. And uh, or just go to Google, and there's a hashtag here which is hopefully going to cover most of the social media that's uh, relevant to the course. Um, just go to Google and search for a hashtag, or the Americans uh, will call this a pound sign, uh, P G C R E I Keel. Stephen, have we missed anything? We 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 almost did the twenty minutes. We're a bit over, but uh, I don't think so. I mean, it's it's a very exciting program. It's one I'm delighted to be involved in. Um, I'm delighted to be able to offer it uh, at Harrow International School. I say excellent environment. Um, and I would say to anybody who's, who wants to work in international education, wants to teach out in Asia, or even anywhere in the world, and Asia's a big place because, you know, we're looking, even in Asia, you're looking from the Middle East out up to the Philippines, if you like. Um, if you're interested in that area, if you're not already in international education, you want to become a teacher, then this is the sort of program you're going to have to do. Uh, because this, the whole area of international schooling is becoming more professionalized, it's becoming more advanced, uh, and it's not simply you can walk off a plane and walk into an international school and get a job in the way you used to be able to do. Now you have to show qualifications. Mm -hmm. And if you've got a degree, first degree, uh, and if you your English, if your English is your first language or you've got good level of English competence, then this this is a program that you should be considering. Brilliant, Stephen. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, welcome. Thanks, Chris.